Japan, land of the rising sun, where ancient tradition meets modern technology. Welcome to the inaugural running of the World Grand Prix. I'm Brent Mustangberger, here with racing legends Daryl Cartrip and David Hopscamp. There's never been a competition like this before. First, all in all, making its debut tonight is the required fuel for all these great champions. Second, the course itself, and it's like nothing we've ever seen before. David, how exactly does this competition work? Well, Brent, all three of these street courses are classic round-the-house racetracks. This means that the LMP and Formula car should break out of the gate in spectacular fashion. Look for Francesco Bernoulli in particular to lead early. And the series of technical turns throughout, GT and touring cars like Spain's Miguel Camino should make up the ground, but I doubt it'll be enough to stop Francesco from absolutely running away with oh, it. Oh, now just hold your horsepower. You're forgetting the most important factor here, that early dirt track section of the course. The dirt is supposed to be the great equalizer in this race. French rally car Raoul Sarul is counting on a big boost headed through there. And don't forget Lightning McQueen, his mentor, the Hudson Hornet, was one of the greatest dirt track racers of all time. In my opinion, McQueen is the best all-round racer in this competition. Really, Darrell, I think you need to clean your windshield. You're clearly not seeing this for what it is, Francesco's race to lose. It's time to find out. The racers are locking into the grid. Speed. I am speed. <laughs> really? You are speed? That Francesco is triple speed. Francesco is triple speed. Oh, ho. Francesco likes Mark this McQueen. Japan. He's really getting him into the zone. He's so getting beat today. The suspension stands look good. Tire pressure is excellent. He's got plenty of fuel. And he's awesome. Why is he in the pits? He's so exposed. It's his cover. One of the best I've seen, too. Look at the detail on that rust. It must have cost him a fortune. But why hasn't he contacted us yet? There's probably heat on him. Be patient. Right, of course. He'll signal us when he can. And then we find out who's behind all this. As they head into the Palace Hairpin, Francesco builds an early lead. Oh, hang on, boys. Here comes the dirt. Slipping and sliding, baby. McQueen, it's time to make your move. Get on the outside and then show them what not done touch. Ten four meter. Oh, boy. Francesco's brought to a screeching halt. Thank you, McQueen is the first to take advantage. And just like that, folks, Francesco's lead is left in the dust. Nice call, Peter. Keep it up. <laughs> Man, McQueen looks happier than a room or a demolition derby. Everyone's jostling for position as we hit the asphalt again. Francesco lost a lot of momentum in the dirt. <laughs> well, he's got some serious work ahead of him if he wants to get back in this race. The racers hit the Rainbow Bridge with its 360 degree loop. It is time. Roger that. Very unusual, wow. Daryl. He's been so consistent all year. You've got to be kidding me. What is it? It's that tow truck from the bathroom. The one from the bathroom? Yeah, the one the American agent passed the device to. What about him? What about him? He's in the pits. Not for long. Hold on. I think I've got something. What is it? It's the pacer from the party last night. I'm cross-referencing with the photos from the oil derricks. Yeah, his VIN numbers match. Anyone with him? He won't be alone. Conducting analysis on the target. He's not the only one here. Three, five, they're everywhere. And they're all closing in on... Oh, no! Ben? Ben, where are you? Get him out of the pit. Now! Wow! So 
some of them fellers is really loud. Can you hear me? Over. Uh, what? Get out of the pit now. Do you hear me? Hey, I know you. You're that girl from the party last night. You want to do our date right now? Guys, a little too much chatter. Let's keep this line clear. Smoke from number 10, Clutch Godski. <laughs> This shouldn't hurt at all. Miss Shipwell? I've got him in the back alleys east of the garages. Multiple assailants are closing in quickly. Keep him moving. I'm on my way. Hey, new lady friend. You like flowers? What? No, don't go in there. suddenly moves to the outside. I'm dead and I'm in I cannot believe what I just saw, Brent. That was a phony hit. If you don't open up the inside like that, that move might have cost McQueen the victory. That nerve track section had you crawling. You truly crushed one three. You must first raise your hopes very high. Vader! Hey, McQueen! What happened? Is the race over? You won, right? Vader, why were you yelling things at me while I was racing? Yelling? Yeah, oh, you thought. Oh, that's funny right there. Nah, no, see, that's because I seen these two fellas in some sort of karate straight performance. It was not so. One of them even had a flamethrower. Flamethrower? Where were you? You're going to meet my date. Your date? You started talking to me as a voice in my head telling me where to go. What? Wait a minute. I didn't screw you up, did I? I lost the race because of you. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Imaginary girlfriend flamethrowers? You know that this is exactly why I don't bring you along to these things. Maybe if I, oh, I don't know, talk to somebody and explain what happened, I could help. I don't need your help. I don't want your help! Hey, there he is! McQueen, you had it in the bag! Yeah, what happened? I, I made a mistake, but I can assure you, it won't happen again. Look, guys, we know what the 
problem is, and we've taken care of it. Lightning McQueen loses in the last lap to Francesco Bernoulli in the first race of the World Grand Prix. And three, count them, three cars flamed out, leading some to suggest that their fuel, all in all, might be to blame. All in all is safe. Alternative fuel is safe. There is no way my fuel caused these cars to...